Hi, this is Diana, your favorite astro nerd. It's me again. I told you I was coming back in a few days as I have been working a lot with up upcoming videos and of course getting ready for the uh, total eclipse as I have to travel to Paducah, Kentucky. But in the meantime, I have been trying for several weeks now to capture the comet that it's flying around and it comes like every 71 years. So this is definitely a once in a lifetime event. If you are like over 40 years, just like myself, that's it. If you don't get it now, forget it. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can, I know where it is. It's right there. Right there, of course, it has to be behind trees. Um, <laughs> that's the brightest part of the sky, of course. And I have the coordinates and I am tracking this one with Sky Live. I have some problems trying to put the, trying to find it in Stellarium and so I'm just going to write the uh, coordinates manually as we don't have too much time for this. I am going to go to Stellarium. And I am just going to put the coordinates, which are right here. 3425 for the right ascension and declination 323450. I am already aligned with uh, Capella and I know it's very bright and I am moving here. I can bring down the brightness a little bit. Um, we'll see. But I am going to send the telescope there. I found it uh, yesterday. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, no. Um, I know uh, that's not it, so I need to redo this. Um, yes, <laughs> I think now it's going in the right direction. That's it. Okay, so let's see. I may be a little bit off. Uh, obviously, I am too bright. <laughs> That's it. Ah, oh my gosh. Let me bring this brightness down. Uh, let me just lower the gain. That is the comet. <laughs> that's, that's the comet. <laughs> Okay, good deal. Let me lower the gain. So, you know what, my dear? I'm going to photograph you. So, let me just uh, go and center this a little more. I think the miracle happened. I need to photograph this guy. I just, I'm assuming the tail goes there. So, let's see. So, I, I need to do a lower as I did with the green comet. <laughs> This is very exciting moment. <laughs> there goes my comet and I'm going to put it somewhere here. And comets travel very fast. So that is one of the most challenging things to do with it. I'm going to move it down as the tail should go this way. <laughs> there somewhere there I think this is the way it's coming <gasps> oh okay so um, I need to prepare this quick and I think I'm just going to do maybe one minute uh, each let's see let's do it um, 50 minutes each time I'm going to do 60 seconds we're not going to dither we don't have time for anything red green <laughs> and up to long wow 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 this is a lucky shot it's a really lucky this is what happened before with the other comments that i have photographed too already all in a lucky shot and there's not too much time for anything so and i need to do a test photo real quick and see which way the tail is coming which i think it goes this way but i need to do a test photo <laughs> This is the beautiful uh, Flaming Star Nebula I was photographing last night. I want to do a 60 second. I'm going to turn some lights off here. And we'll see. 
you know, see, let's just go ahead and turn this into red and let's do a test photo real quick. So, Oh, okay, time to take these images. And then I am out of here. I'm going to watch from the house. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have time to prepare anything. I had to come running here because I was not expecting this to record the on the uh, comment tonight. This is so exciting. So I have to run here and get the camera and things going. Um, my comment right now, wow. <laughs> and I am watching here from the house and I am already doing, let's see, it already did the uh, blue 50 minutes each time. Now it's uh, photographing, let's see, um, red, green, and then the luminance. And this is my studio where I do my videos during the day. So it looks very different, but I just have to use the cell phone. I don't, can, don't have the microphone connected, but this is a beautiful moment right now. Now when it changes, um, there are trees right there. So they're just right there. I can't believe it. Um, let's see, it's going into 37, 39 seconds. And I am hoping that I can get all of the, uh, at least red, green, and blue. This is something that you don't do every day. <laughs> let's see, 100% and then change another image. And actually, I am pretty go good in focus. I didn't do any of this. I was just going to um, find it and see the location. I at last night was very low. I couldn't even get anything. And here I am today, March 11, 8.54 p.m. Right now it's on the red channel, on red filter. Well, editing is going to be very challenging. This is the main problem is the editing, so um, I do a lot of tutorials with Adam Block Studios and he just have the Comet Academy, which is the one that I am going to follow to edit this, this guy, because this is very difficult to edit. It's the most challenging part. It's to edit the Comet. I had a very hard time editing the uh, green comment. And if you want to watch me photographing and editing the green comment, you can just go ahead and watch this video uh, it was very exciting the green comet breathing my butt like at 2 or 3 a.m there's another image right there so we're going to come back and do a follow-up wow <laughs> this is a follow-up on the uh, photographing and as you can see the comet now i'm starting to reach those trees that i was i got yesterday when i found it for the first time but on my first attempt, I got those trees right here. So tonight, uh, obviously, the comet move. <laughs> uh, they are unpredictable and they move so fast. So um, at the same time, yesterday was lower. At least that's my observation doing this for a little bit. Uh, but now I am starting to see the trees here. Um, but I had been lucky enough that I completed a first round of 15 minutes on red, green, and blue. Seems that I have, um, about 10 more minutes of it, but I am happy to be able to get 45 minutes on red, green, and blue and combine and 15 minutes on the luminance. This is a great night. This is a great night. I'm so happy. I'm curious to see, but it looks like uh, pretty soon in the next few minutes, those trees are going to show as we are seeing right now. Let's see. We're at 70% of this uh, frame. Let's see what happens. 92, 93, 94%. Let's see what happens on the next image. 
the girls my tree um, and I have this same situation uh, with the green comet one of the nights and it affected a lot the uh, editing of course so I may I'm just going to let it finish because just a few more minutes left but this is good i'm happy i'm good with it okay and that's 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 it for the uh, imaging session <laughs> surprise imaging session of the night yes it was so difficult to edit this was very challenging <laughs> I did not have all of these problems with the uh, Green Comet because I got a lot more data of the uh, Green Comet. Actually, I photographed it like for two hours and I was just able to photograph about 45 minutes, 14 frames on each color, red, green and blue. I couldn't even do uh, luminance. The background was very difficult. The, I didn't have enough images. So I decided to go starless. Why not? And just enjoy the moment, enjoy the event and have the satisfaction that I was able to capture it. Okay, so back now to pics inside and I did have all this full of all kind of processes. I ended up deleting them as I was very frustrated and it's still very frustrating to me the fact that I haven't been able to really edit this image the way I would like to but if you don't have enough frames then I don't have them that's that's the main problem uh, but I was able to do the starless uh, images and remove the stars and this is the uh, blue here we have the red and the green and of course you know this is a very uh, closer look on the uh, comet as my telescope uh, has a focal length of 1000 millimeters so I just that's the one that I use to get closer to everything uh, I wish I have another of my mounts ready but I did capture it also with the dwarf telescope so I am hoping to do that video very soon okay so that's what i got right here and of course the process was very frustrating and i have to use combine many techniques um in the end it did not work um here is one of my starless images uh with some editing here and of course the this images was already stretched and this is kind of like what i got i can do a lot of things with it i can do a composite and just put it with different backgrounds and i may do that but the important thing is that i capture it and i recorded the moment of that that will be forever Here's another RGB as I put RGB final. Now this one, it's the only image that I have with the stars. <laughs> and those stars were very, extremely difficult. So that's pretty much it. And last but not least, this is uh, just uh, after the uh, channel combination uh, and then I was able to stretch this image but I didn't do too much with it so but that's my comment and that's all I have for pics inside thank you so much for watching See you in a few days.